In Colorado, Democrats kept the state Senate and regained the state House, an outcome important to supporters of civil unions. An amendment to the state's constitution asking Colorado politicians to introduce and support campaign finance reform also passed. But perhaps the biggest news from this state was the passage of a law changing the state's constitution to legalize marijuana for adults. FSRN's Jim Poland brings us more. Opponents of Colorado's Amendment 64, which changes the state's constitution to allow adults to grow and use small amounts of marijuana, said that the drug was unsafe and would cast Colorado in a negative light. Thornton voter Connie, who preferred not to give her last name, said she was casting her vote against the amendment. I just think it encourages kids. It makes them think it's safe, and then they'll just start using earlier. But proponents contested that using pot was not harmful and the promise of adding tens of millions of tax dollars to help build schools and over a hundred million dollars overall to the state's coffers was also appealing. Teresa Mueller, also from Thornton, voted for legalization. I do think there's a lot of good that can come from it for our economy. Um, I mean, a lot of people say, you know, it could become the Amsterdam of the United States, but Amsterdam makes a lot of money, so not a bad thing. The yes votes carried handily. About 55 percent of voters said that regulating marijuana like alcohol was right for the state. The news was greeted enthusiastically at the campaign party in Denver. (laughs) Campaign co-director Bri Vicente was among the revelers, and he echoed the themes of the campaign. We're going to produce a ton of tax revenue for the state. There's going to be new jobs. We're going to redirect law enforcement resources towards more serious crime, and Colorado can lead the nation. Voters in Washington state also passed marijuana legalization Tuesday. Proponents say victories in these two western states widens the discussion and search for solutions to the nation's costly and ineffective drug wars. Vicente is proud that Coloradans are leading the way. Coloradans are common sense people. They understand that marijuana prohibition has failed. Uh, The war on drugs has been a horrible policy disaster. Coloradans have decided to try a new path forward. The state's constitution will be amended when the governor, Democrat John Hickenlooper, signs the amendment. Although he was an opponent of Amendment 64, he said that he will follow the will of the people. With assistance from Ben Berklin and Rocky Mountain Community Radio, this is Jim Pullen, FSRN, Boulder.